So if you wanna make a background like this, DIY for cheap, then stick around. I'll show you how to do that right now. Yo guys, so now stepping away from the Zoom camera, this is where I usually, how I have my setup for Zoom calls. I have the camera right under the screen, the Zoom window, so I can look as close as I can to the people's faces. But if you're curious on how I could get a nice backdrop like you saw in the intro, this is what I'm about to show you right now. So the most expensive part on this setup is the actual material. This is a tablecloth, believe it or not. And the reason why I went with a tablecloth because it was the cheapest thing they had in a hardware store, in the local hardware store. It's cheap, it's really light, and uh, yeah, easy to work with. And the rest of the materials are all from the dollar store. So guys, if you're curious to get a really cheap, nice backdrop that has a nice, you know, color. And, and you know, table, the good thing about tablecloths, they come in various colors, but I went with a light blue because it's very easy on the eyes and it matches most colors and my skin tones better. So the materials you need, this is a three, I believe it's like a five feet by three feet tablecloth. It costs a little over $10 and other than that, I use dollar store materials. So let's start off with the beams. The beams that are stretching the material is actually from the dollar store. You know these things that you put up against the wall, you could twist and extend? Well, that's what I'm using. And at the bottom, I have another one, but it's tucked inside. And as you could see, my ghetto work I'm using. <laughs> I roll it up and staple it close shut. So I was able to slide in the beam inside to give it weight and also to keep it nice and straight. Now to prop it up on the ceiling without making causing too much damage. Now do you see those little golden copper screws up there? Now those are from the dollar store and you just screw them up, lace a vinyl wrap or strap and make a little loop in one end to hook up to the s curve hooks. And that's how I hold up the screen. See, I use these tidies or these cable bands to hold up the actual fabric. Now I put tape on this side so they don't move around, but that's optional. That's also from the dollar store. You don't need the tape. I never had the tape. I only put it up recently to keep it, the bands from sliding around. Just punch some holes in the back of the screen and a bunch of straps, you know, cable straps, bands, and that's it. And that's how I could keep the cost less than $20 for the whole project. Now I know they sell cheap backdrops in Amazon, but they don't have them this big and this light that you could just prop up in the ceiling and of course if i move around i could cover up the holes easily with some plaster holes are so small and tiny it's not gonna matter that's it guys this is how we get some nice backdrop for zoom so guys before i let you go i want to give you a couple more pointers on how to get even a better experience on your zoom call one is a little hack that i found i heard in one video i completely forgot who gave me this idea and i'm so sorry to not give you any credit guy it's just a great pointer that i heard and i want to share with you guys that is to simulate having a softbox you could just turn the background of your wallpaper into complete white that will help brighten up the face and that way you actually don't need a soft light. What do you guys think? How am I exposed? Am I exposed pretty good? You could even see the reflection in my eyes of my big large softbox. Now watch the difference when I put my video in full screen and it makes my face dark. Watch how dark it gets. And this is what I mean why having a white background helps a lot. Check this out guys. So. If I were to go full screen, bam, you see how dark my face got? 
And actually, yeah, it did help a little bit with the tones and color because I'm like right before lunch, it's really bright. I'm trying to control the light as much as I can, but you get the idea. If you're in low light situation, you're in a situation that you really need some front light, there we go. Put a white background in your desktop and play around with the colors too. I, I did find that trying different colors, kind of like a pinkish color, a peach colors as a background, as a wallpaper, help with an affected different tones in my skin and your clothes. So play around with the background colors, see which one works best for you. And of course it does help having a big screen. So the bigger the light source, the more light you'll get. Set the brightness to as bright as your eyes can tolerate for as long as you can. There we go. That's how you get some nice light to improve the quality of your calls. This has been a very quick how to get a nice backdrop for Zoom calls as well as some bonus tips. If you enjoy all these little tips and hints, hit a thumbs up, share the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Yeah, artistic, right? Macros is artistic. Very, very artistic. Ghetto, this is so ghetto. But it works. It works. <laughs>